Hi there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your week. So this is going to be for August 30th through September 5th. I hope you're doing really good out there. Thanks guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. Appreciate all the support. So let's start off with some Oracle cards. Always calling in your spirit guides, your higher self, your angels to guide us and give us messages, please. For their highest good. Sign of Virgo. What is going on with their weak spirit? What's going on with their weak? Two cards came out for you. Jeweled Web, Connectivity, and Vanishing Mirror, Ego Sublimination. As the thunder rolls. As the thunder rolls. Okay. Vanishing Mirror, number 58, is, it is about vanishing. Um, let me tell you about the way that they actually word it. So letting go of the ego, okay, letting go of self-centeredness, um, understanding that there's many possibilities, remembering you are a product of your conditioning. So it says, imagine looking into the mirror and seeing only what you are now. If you can let your self-definition soften, moving beyond the veil to see your potential, a magical emptiness exists where all things are possible. Look again and ask yourself, who could you be? Number 32. Jeweled web. The feeling state. Connectivity and no separation. Wow, this feels like an awakening. This, uh, this feels like a... Oh, it says that this feels like a lot of work. A lot of work. It feels like something that... Uh, Deep introspection, personal development, um, definitely, definitely with this enlightenment. Um, it isn't possible to know everything, too. Right? And that's just the kind of idea is that, um, you know, this is when the seeking stops. So take your focus off of getting anywhere. It says, practice feeling and being in place where your desired experience has already come to pass. Um, it says, because what wants you... What you want, wants you too. So feeling, the feeling state. Being very connected and feeling, the feeling state. You know what? Talking about feelings. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh boy. Hang on. Cards, cards, cards everywhere. Okay, I'm going to get something from this spellcasting deck. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the spellcasting. I'm going to do a few oracles first. Give us kind of an idea. So far, it's looking like your reading's going to be kind of deep. About personal development, ego, subelimination. I mean, oof. and manifestation. Manifestation came out for you. What are you manifesting? So manifestation might be heightened at this time. You may have a very acute awareness of exactly what you're manifesting. And it's deliberate creation. At that point, it's deliberate creation. And that's what it feels like. This is the Moon Oracle. We're going to grab one of these and then we're going to go into your tarot. So ego sublimination, connectivity, manifestation. And... Too many. And I don't need that many to come out here. Up. And bridge. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. Or for the fates. For the fates. So this Hera. Hera. I, or maybe it's Hera. I don't it might be Hera. Okay, so number six, the bridge. The bridge. Oh, I just passed Hera. Let me do Hera first, or Hera, Hera. No need to rock the boat is what it says. All right, so this is representing, Hera is representing maturity and dignity. Regard for the, your, their position and the power to maintain it. Um, it says, um, this is saying, it's uh, although you might ne not necessarily approve of something, allowing it to run its course can sometimes be the best answer. So allowing something to 
run its course. No need to rock the boat. I, I'm feeling like if you're seeing something that you don't like, but it's not doing any harm, like that kind of being the message here. If it's not doing any harm, just let things play out. It's kind of like a watch and see attitude too. Um, we have six bridge. This key phrase is bridge of compromise or suddenly finding something in common. Um, it's a good time. It says here, the ability to form a bridge and find mutual ground between you and another person. So maybe regarding a partnership, even though you don't get along, kind of biting your tongue to always be right kind of deal. I think it has to do with something like that. It feels very family, uh, like family oriented here. All right, let's get, um, let's get some fairy dust on this situation. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is family. So here's family. And then we're going to go right into the tarot. So have family wherever you go, whatever you do, your family is right here for you. Fairy wings in the forest, small lights glow. Those fairies are flying low. All right, so something, something here manifesting. Maybe um, families getting along, maybe connectivity um, where it might have been stagnant. Maybe something like that is the issue. I'm gonna put family right here with our little geode because I think that's important. Let me make sure it's actually in the scene. Yeah, it is. Okay. So here is, um, I think I'm going to use the other tarot, actually. We'll use that deck to clarify. So this is the Modern Love Tarot. I'm going to we're gonna do a general spread. Fourth sign, Virgo, the 30th through September 5th. 30th through September 5th. Fear guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Best messages, please. It's for the greater good. Sign of Virgo. What's their issue? What is their situation for the week coming up for Virgo? What is their situation? Queen of Cups. Maybe ne not necessarily in reverse, but I'm going to kind of leave it like that. As a need for self-care, maybe I need to... Um, feels like your thoughts about yourself, maybe the thoughts about yourself that run through your head, you know, positive, more positive self-talk than not. Um, Queen of Cups could represent a person that you could feel is only coming to use love on you to get what they want. That's sometimes, if this is a person and they're kind of, they're like that, they're the Queen of Cups in the reverse, yeah, then it can be somebody who kind of manipulates with love. Now, it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Um, it could be somebody who's not present in your life. It, it mainly means taking care, good care of yourself and the need to address self-care, making sure you're not neglecting yourself. Page of Wands is the challenge. A new adventure, beginning something completely brand new, new passion, good news, waiting for good news, waiting for good news. Okay, what is in the root? Things being revealed. Things being revealed. Thought you would have been to a certain point by now, but you aren't. Things are being revealed with the moon card. It's, you're having an issue trusting yourself, your intuition, or something that feels like it's off. Uh, intuitively, something feels not right. Pisces energy, the magician in the reverse in, in the past energy. So in the past energy, and, and maybe maybe this is because, okay, in the past, I'm, I'm judging what is in the present. And that's what I'm feeling. It's like, okay, well, in the past, this is what happened, and this didn't work out. That That's kind of what I'm getting is the, the comparison. But remember, we start every journey with the fool's journey the the beginner's mind every single journey every single new thing that you do every decision <laughs> every step of the day can be with the beginner's mind if you want present energy 
nine of wands building up walls around yourself things are getting really stressful having to um keep up perseverance keep on doing the things that you know are right to do especially with the duties and feeling like with the with the duties stressed out stressed out In a sense, sometimes not knowing what to do because the stress is so overwhelming here. Near future energy. Ten of Pentacles. Why is everything in the reverse here, Virgo? We have Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. They're both in the reverse. And then Ten of Pentacles is in reverse too. So let's find out why. Five of Wands in reverse. We, we would think that would be a good thing. So let's find out what is up with the Ten of Pentacles in a reverse. We have the Magician. Just not the way you'd envisioned. Okay. Okay. So I don't need to clarify because the message I got was it is your Ten of Pentacles. This is going to be not in the way that you envisioned, but it will still be your Ten of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Now, um, how do you feel? How do you feel, Virgo? You feel like communicating. You feel like moving fast. Communication. Maybe communication is off or it's just not that good right now. There's something about the communication being off. And it's like you, you want this good news too. This is the challenge. And you're waiting to hear it also. So I feel like this is representing the good news coming to you. And once again, not how in, not in a way that you planned it. Not in the way that you planned it. That's another thing. It's good news. Not in the way that you thought of it. Okay. The outside. The outside situation. The star. About your dreams. About your hopes, and look at that, that's the hopes. So this star is kind of like this, okay? So something that um, you've been wanting for a very long time here with the star, this is the hope, the hope that no matter what direction things go in, that it's going to go in the direction of your dreams or of this Aquarius energy. We have cancer represented here too with the chariot and the hopes and fears. This is, I would think this would be, well, it can be a fear for some people too. Some people um, might be viewing this card as travel, like hoping for travel. Um, but it can also be about staying balanced um, and, and and gaining momentum. So speed, it's, it's about gaining speed, having momentum, building momentum, and keeping balance. There are bumps. There are bumps. That's why it's very important to stay balanced with this chariot energy. It's not a completely easy road. Nor will it be completely easy. And that outcome, but what is? What is? What's the outcome? high priestess i feel like you can trust your intuition even if you feel like you can't the wheel of fortune hangman waiting on good news waiting on good news waiting on something waiting on uh participation this is something you're really not expecting whatever this is that comes it's coming and it's something that you don't expect Queen of Swords energy. Somebody coming with focus, intent. Either this person is like, who, who is the uh, one that will surprise you that's coming in out of the blue, or this person is someone that, I'm almost feeling like that you feel like something is gonna go um, bad or something, something might be unlucky because of the past with this person. Because, see, it's about somebody that did not participate and you'd been waiting to talk with the hourglass for such a long time for this person to participate. And here they are. I don't 
that? Let's get another, um, let's get another card. See, so we still have the waiting energy. And we have the, this is your, when I see Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I don't think there's anything such as like, oh, well, this bad luck's coming after you. No, I think that this is, um, when, when that's what you're expecting. So, because remember in the beginning, the, the Oracle cards was about how your thoughts are and, and, and stopping so many negative thoughts. Okay, so let's look at, um other tarot this other tarot deck and let's get um clarification for us on this outcome please clarification on the outcome so this might be unexpected communication on something that you've been waiting on for quite a while and you do show up in your reading okay. justice oh ten of cups it all leads to your ten of cups no matter how complicated this web gets it all leads to your ten of cups so justice balance fair the moon secrets out things that you didn't know things that you didn't see were coming knight of cups in reverse um an offer that comes in that somebody views as not genuine okay and the page of cups is like not hopeful look you're seeing this situation very pessimistically but it actually is going to turn out really well so i can't say that an offer is definitely for sure going to be genuine if it's not but the things that are unseen is that justice and um something is going to be balanced that hadn't been balanced for quite a long time and this truth is what's coming in to set this balance like off like to say okay let's calibrate it now it's good so something that was off balance that really there was no hope for even ever getting better um or ever coming your way is, is now hopeful so we have character wise let me see we've got libra we have pisces a lot um, so your intuition might be higher. It just might be around the Pisces. We do have your energy, Virgo. We also have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. And then the two water um, water signs. Could be a child, and it could also be involving um, someone who's a little bit more immature with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. When this comes in, when this outcome comes in, and either this person or someone, this person I feel like comes back, or this person comes into your life, just period. It doesn't really say if this is new or not. It's just something that you are not hopeful about, and it's going to surprise you. It will, And I think it will pleasantly surprise you. However it does, whatever hope you had lost, it's going to be regained here with this Ten of Cups on the bottom as underlying everything that's happening. So Virgo, all in all, I think it's a really good read for you. Let's get you some tea leaves and wrap your reading up. Whoa, what happened? Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Ladder, you're climbing towards success. Seahorse, family matters. Dagger, fears, worries, or tense situations. Dogs, getting together with friends. And that also might be people that can assist you. Like on the outside, people that work in certain offices that can assist you with certain matters and things like that. So <clears throat> that's what I've got for you. Thanks, Virgo. Sending you love and light. Bye, guys. Enjoy your week.